So I have got my keys. Um, we've already moved stuff in, just like some boxes that I've had, and I set up my bed. Um, but I wanted to do a walkthrough before it got too filled. So we're gonna do that now. Key fob entry. And this is what you see from the back entrance of the apartment. Bathroom on this side, hallway that we'll get into. Right off the front door is the hall closet. And then the bathroom. So I have a studio, one bath. There is ample storage in this bathroom. I can't even reach the top view. I'm so sorry, like, I'm blessed. Girl, you are blessed. Um, more storage underneath the cabinets. I already placed a couple things. And then this drawer is even more storage. And as you see, like there's storage under there, under the cabinet. Alexa, you're messing things up. Thank you. Alexa, mm -hmm. turn off. Here we go. What are you, I was talking to you. Have more storage above the toilet. It's a walk-in shower. Part of me wanted a tub, but it's pros and cons of each. With a glass door. I stayed here last night, so I have some shower essentials. Already comes installed with this rack. And then another hook. I already know how I want to decorate in here. It'll be really quick, because I think I already know what rug I want and then I know what I want to do with this white wall and then I'm doing like very minimal stuff on the countertop because I don't like clutter and there's no reason anything should be cluttered with all of this storage and this storage so definitely going to need a lot of um, clear bins but I'll get into all that stuff next week. Right off the bathroom is this hallway. Like how, get into the hallway. I feel like there's something very luxurious about having like a little mini hallway concept, concept in your apartment. And then washer and dryer. This is the exact same one that I had at my previous apartment in Philly, so. It's great that I already know how to use it. This is a hot water heater that is locked. My thermostat. And then we get into the best part. The kitchen and the bedroom. So like I said, this is a studio, but the bedroom is blocked off by these doors. And then live in this kitchen. Let's get into the bedroom first. So these doors do close. They're clear glass doors. They don't close like all the way, but enough. And I was I was hesitant about getting a studio because like studios just be like your bed is in the kitchen, which I don't like. But the fact that this is blocked off and it gives some division, I love. Like I said, I already have my bed. Probably won't stick with this bedding, but it is for now. Child, my camera done cut off, but this is a queen size bed. Um, I don't think I'll put any furniture in here besides one, we'll see if two nightstands will work, but one for sure. 
Um, there is a fan in here and a light. I noticed a lot when I was touring apartments here in DC that any studio concept like this or junior one bedroom, they do not have um, ceiling lights installed. Um, there's meant for a TV to be right here, but I don't think I'll do that. Um, that needs to be covered some way, somehow. And then we have dual doors that go into the closet. Walk-in closet, y'all. Like, what? So much space. Um, you can customize it and order the pieces to add to it online. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I have so much organizing to do and clothes to get rid of and new clothes to organize. And like I said, there's a light in here. Like how perfect. This is my modem for Wi-Fi. It already came installed. I just had to set it up. And yes, this is the bedroom area. Definitely spacious enough for me. I've definitely had smaller rooms and still made it work. So now going on to the living room area. Like I said, already moved my stuff in. Here's my TV. This is a whole piano view. I love it. I feel like I'll be able to do a lot with this space. I've already set up my desk. Again, ample storage. The lighting could be better, but it will do. I do have a front door. I am on ground level, which is the only thing I don't like about this apartment, but I'm going to do my best to make myself feel safe. Let me know if you have any recommendations. A whole fridge, all for me. And then more storage. Again, I can't reach. I can reach like the top of here, but I can't like put anything back there unless I get a stool. And then I definitely can't reach up there. Can't reach these cabinets. They do pop open, but baby, I'm only 5'2". Fridge and freezer. This is what I'm most excited about because I like, I wanna get back in my cooking bag, like get back to meal prepping and it's so nice to have a fridge and freezer that's just for you. Oh, why is this sticking? Oops, child. Leftover sushi. Of course, that had to be my first meal. But this is like very exciting. Like, oh, I can't wait to go to Costco and you know, Trader Joe's. Comes with a dishwasher that I've already filled. And then again with the storage. that I can't reach, only up to here. More storage, which I'm very excited about because I'm hosting this year. Any holiday or event, it's at my house. And then microwave, electric oven and stove, which looks very nice. Again, more storage. You can just pop those open, but like I said, I cannot reach up there. I need a stool. And more here. I love this backsplash. This apartment building has three different finishes. It's like dark wood, um, white, and like a tan wood color. And I'm so happy that I got the dark because I feel like, I, I don't know, I'm over white. I had white these last few years. 
and then here's like a little entryway area for this door don't think I'll put anything here but maybe a mirror or some artwork these are some friends I have so this is what the space looks like definitely gonna do a couch here TV on the wall I'll probably upgrade my TV because this is a 50 inch and I just feel like this is too much wall space and then I already set up my work area, which took up less space than I thought. So I might be able to fit like a little breakfast nook area right here. There's like a small circle table and some chairs. I don't know. So thank you guys for touring my space with me. Very quick, very brief, get to the point. We'll walk through. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling so blessed and you know, don't be fooled. Like, I worked really hard for this. I'm excited though. Ready to furnish. Ready for you guys to see the rest of my moving vlogs because I don't have a lot of stuff. I basically started over from when I moved home. So, we have a lot of shopping to do. A lot of online orders to make. A lot of Amazon purchases. And I can't believe my freaking camera is crooked, y'all. Like, what the heck? Tripod is being dumb. But yeah. I'll see you guys on the next video. I don't know when that will be, but thanks for watching.